Guys, welcome to the channel. This is Waga. We are going to start a new series of videos looking at Swift UI. Um, starting from the basics, we're going to look at each view, a uh, bunch of the modifiers, we're going to build a couple of small apps. The best way to learn something is to build many small apps, I believe that. And I've been learning Swift UI and I wanted to work with a couple of the app, um, work with a couple of the functions of the framework. It's pretty nice, it's declarative, uh, just like Flutter. So if you've ever wanted to get into Swift UI, this would be an excellent time to do so. Considering that there's also Swift UI 2.0 just announced and it's in beta, it's a perfect time to jump in. And we're going to start off looking at Swift UI 1 and um, going through various views all from the ground, uh, from the ground up, starting from the very basics. So that's what we're going to do. And now we're just going to look at um, the basics you might want to know in Swift UI, right? And for that, we would come to Xcode and we can create a new Xcode project. And you make sure you click on single view app in this case. and um, Make sure when you're using the user interface, you pick SwiftUI instead of storyboards. And after that, you give it whatever you want. We could say Sparta 2, like so. And you hit Next. Now, first things first, I'm going to cover a couple of the files that you may see and explain a couple of things. Um, so first off, you will see the app delegate and uh, the scene delegate. And in the app delegate, there's something uh, you may want to the app delegate. Um, yeah, this basically contains the life cycles of your app, right? So the life cycles of your app are contained in the app delegate. Now, the next thing you may, the next file you may be interested in is the um, the scene delegate. Now, the scene delegate, if I could give ourselves more real estate a bit there and come down here, you could see if we look for the root view, root view, um, the root view is where is where we define the initial view. Uh, when our app la launches. In one of the later videos when we're working with navigation, we're building a small app to, to, to go into navigation, we'll come here and change and make sure that the root view will set one more, another view aside from the usual. You see here it's marked content view, so this is the original root view when you start off your app. So um, we go back and that's the interesting part of um, of the scene delegate in particular. And um, we also have content view. Now the content view, uh, which you can see conforms to the view protocol, describes the content in our view. And for us to see the content in our view, for example, we could come um, to the canvas. This is called the canvas, this space right here. And when you start off, it's it's going to be uh, blank, but when you have to hit resume. You're going to see the, the phone. Uh, let's make it a bit smaller so you can see it. You'll see the phone with uh, our view currently. Um, currently shown. So basically what you're seeing here is just the declarative uh, like I said, it's a declarative framework. We just see Halo World. And um, uh, another thing we could look at is the content preview, right? Now, the content preview, um, it conforms to the preview provider protocol. And this is what sets what we see here. Now, um, we can use it to preview an entire view if you want, multiple instances of a view or a portion of a view. For example, now we can see the entire view, which is text. But if we wanted, we could see the a section of it of, of the of the content view. And for that, we could come here and click only as, as or rather multiple instances, right? We could do that by coming here and maybe putting this in a V stack. And we could put another content view here and we'll see hello world again. We could see content view like so. And if we do that, we'll see another hello world, another instance of um our content view. So uh yeah, it, we use it to generate various views in our um to see the, give us a preview. Now, when we go into, this is only for um, uh, when we're de developing. In production, this view will be disregarded, right? Um, in SwiftUI, one thing you will notice is that um, there's a lot of use of structs, right? You can see, for example, let's get rid of this. Let's just hit Command-Z, Command-Z, and return it to its original state, and we save that. You will see that there are two structs. We have the content view struct and the preview struct, right? Structs, as you know, do not need initializers, and, um, yeah, they don't need initializers. All all objects in Swift UI are actually structs, right? So, for example, um, uh, and another thing you might want to know is that, or you may know, you you may have come across closures, right? And I believe in Swift five point zero. I cover it in another video. Um, you don't have to hit write the word return when you want to when the when the closure returns one thing. A closure is basically a function that is passed as a parameter. You can skip the return, right? In this case, like we don't read, you could write if you want, and I we will cover it again. Return text.v. You see, there's no error. It, this is correct, but it's superfluous to this. We don't have to do it, right? So, um, this view in particular will complain if you try to add another view. Like if you come here and say, 
view two, right? You see there's a problem. But if we come here and say return like so, function declares an object type. You see, yeah, so basically you see that we can now return it if we use a return. So it's pretty, um, it's pretty straightforward. Uh, when you build a struct, like in this case, content view, you build the struct, then you declare the, what's it called, the properties as variables. So it could say, as in the const, constants of variables. And you can add another property, for example. If we come here, we could add another property, like, um, we could put another property, we could say var um, phones, okay, I think the phones, and we say int, like so. Phones is going to be an integer. And the first thing, this is the content view is going to complain because we have not passed in our phones here. So we could say phones and um, three of them, like so. So basically, um, you could do this, right? You could, could um, declare the variables, uh, other properties, and all you need to do that is just declare them with variables. We'll be covering this in a bit more detail as we go, <clears throat> as we go along. Yeah. So basically, that's the that's a quick overview of um, Swift UI, how you start and the rest. And I think after this, we're now going to go into, we're going to talk about the syntax a bit more and then uh, start now working with the views proper in later videos. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to the channel if you're new, like the video and leave a comment in the comment section if you have any.